Hello, my name is Franklin Eugene McCain. I was born in Union County, North Carolina. I spent most of my life in Greensboro, North Carolina, where I dealt with many cases of racial discrimination and violence. At NC a and University, me and three other students held our own nonviolent sit-in to stand up against racial discrimination in the South. I graduated from a and University, where I majored in biology and chemistry. My life afterwards was pretty simple, really. I married my wife, Betty Davis McCain, in 1965 and had three sons with her. Franklin Jr., who would carry on my legacy and become a civil rights activist in the community. Wendell McCain, who would become part of Onset Capital Partners, and W. Bertrand McCain. I worked at Celanese Corporation manufacturing chemicals for most of my life. I also became part of the Board of Trustees at NC a t University, where for many years I helped pick and select who became part of the community. I also studied at NC State University, where I majored in arts, as well as Princeton University, where I also majored in arts. And I can tell you by the time I was 16 years of age, I was angry as hell. Not only was I angry, but there were times as a young boy that I felt suicidal because the way life was, it wasn't worth living. No respect, no manhood, not even a modicum of decency for obeying all the rules and doing all the right stuff. If you are concerned about what is or is not happening today, just reflect on history just a little bit, I say. You only need to go back to Gandhi, a little frail Hindu who practically killed the British Army Navy off by himself. Time to time he had some help. You only need to look at Mary McLeod Bethune, who struck out with a hundred bucks in her pocket and faith and commitment and built Bethune Cookman Cup. And I will tell you that history is replete with people of that ilk, people who had the same philosophy, people who were committed and people who were willing to lay it on the line and do whatever it took to accomplish a task for me to go. I'm talking to you, the youth. I'm saying to you, all you have to do is believe. All you have to do is have a dose of commitment. Throw yourself to the wind. Forget about caution. And in the words of Eric Hoffman, Hopper, the stevedore, become the true believer. And my parting words are to you, if you want to do something, don't wait for the masses because they ain't coming. <laughs>